What is going on you guys? I am so excited to be back on this camera. I never thought it was going to happen again, but it is here. No more iPhone vlogs, at least for a while. So the first half of this video is pretty much going to be a few short stories, starting out with what the heck happened to this camera. If you guys watched the last video I was filming on the iPhone, I kind of talked about the camera went for a swim and wasn't very good at swimming. Let me explain a little bit here. So basically, there was a really big storm in San Diego last week, and me watching far too many Casey Neistat videos, decided to run out and film everything. So I went down to a little town not too far from my house, and there was water that was overflowing the curbs and the parking lots, there was cars that were getting stuck, it was completely chaos, so I decided to park my car, and for some reason thought it would be a good idea to go walk around. That worked out pretty well until I got caught in a little bit of a flash flood. It wasn't anything crazy, but I was not paying attention, it was caught off guard. Got swept off my feet, got taken down the... What do you call it? I was not paying attention and I got swept down the road a little bit by a current. And the whole time with my camera in my hand, I kept dunking it into the water just trying to stay alive. <laughs> it wasn't like it was actually life threatening or not. It was just I was trying not to get hit by cars while going down a stream in the middle of a road. Alright? But as soon as I got out of there, I immediately ran to my car, dumped the battery and memory card out of this camera, booked it home, dumped it in rice, and it sat there for a week. The entire time, I was pretty much confident this camera would never come back to life. But after a week, it was time to take it out of rice. I took everything apart, cleaned it really well, and then I turned it back on. And for some reason, it turned back on. I don't know how, I don't know why, <laughs> but I am so happy. And at first, the lens didn't even work. It was just the camera that was working, the lens was not connecting, and I was okay with that because the camera itself was fine. But after a few minutes, the lens even kicked back on. So, it's back. Super excited. But what have I been up to for the past week? Really not much, but one pretty exciting thing. So while the camera was in rice, pretty much haven't done too much. Um, went sledding like I showed in the last video, and then I went off-roading with Javara. I filmed it with my iPhone, we got stuck in the mud, and I'll let the... Video show the rest. All right, guys. Verse. Yeah. We are about to get Javar out of there. All right, guys. I want to update everybody real quick. It is currently 10:30. Avalanche is still very stuck. We got backup coming. Steve is not strong enough to pull it out. Alright guys, we got the avalanche, <laughs> we got the, the check. So I think it was a little bit after 8 when we first got stuck and I think we got out of there right about midnight. It was kind of a crappy situation but we made do with the tools that we had and we eventually got him out of there. That last shot when I'm soaked in mud, that was from when we were pushing him out. All the mud had kicked up and hit us all. And then yesterday is when I put this camera to a little bit of a stress test to make sure everything was working good. Woogles hit me up and said he wanted to go check out some great views of sunsets, maybe see some whales, get some hammocks going. What up? Alright, I'm following Wiggles. We're gonna go explore a little bit. We're gonna go explore a little bit, try to find a really cool spot. Whoa. Whoa. That was a catch of the life. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. I was just excited I caught that. Pretty sweet picture for Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. And then that's it, we're pretty much caught up. But there is one, actually there's two more stories that I wanna talk about. This here's my old iPhone. The uh, screen is pretty cracked, I don't know if you can see it that well. Um, it doesn't turn on because it's not sitting in a charger right now. As soon as you unplug this from the charger, it dies, the battery does not hold. So I recently got a new one, I had insurance on the old one, so it didn't cost me too much. But I do need to send the old one back, they're asking for it, so. It's a little bit overdue, so it's time to send it back to them today. But I have 3,000 pictures and videos on this phone. Um, a lot of good memories with this guy. So I have to empty this phone. I gotta take off every video and picture of here. So I wanna share a few videos that I did nothing with. I just filmed for fun and didn't think anything of it. So the first video is of April 2016. It's when I just started my work at the kayak shop. I was only working on the beach, and all these fishermen were showing up with these massive, like 100 to 200 pound thresher sharks on kayaks. 
and thresher sarks are freaking beautiful. Full discretion, if you're kind of sensitive to the topic of killing animals, I probably don't recommend watching this. Fast forward a minute or two. got another awesome Instagram picture for that day. This video comes from May of 2016. Jake, Raul, and myself decided to go mountain biking. We came across a river. I'll let the video tell the rest of the story. Jake, right there, right there, <laughs> is about to uh, is about to go through that river there on his bike. And we think he's niche. But we, we know for a fact he is. Tell him. There's no way you can make this. Yeah. All right, Jake, go ahead. Oh man. <laughs> He's doing it. Oh my god. Oh, so close. You were inches. No. So there's two stories from this iPhone. I got a few more that I'll put in future videos. All right, let's get back to the present moment. I have some very exciting plans today involved mowing the lawn. Damn. I'm tired now. But we have these blue jays that have been hanging around lately. I want to try to catch one of them. Not like actually catch it, but I want to like catch a shot of it. So I'm going to leave some of this trail mix out right here. Oh! You want to make it on the vlog? You want to make it on the vlog? Yeah! So I'm going to leave some of this on the bricks here. I'm going to edit in my room over there and watch. If anything pops up, I'll throw the camera out here with it. Tiny is basically tall enough to reach over and eat the nuts. <laughs> Ooh, he gave up. It wasn't worth his effort. <sighs> Alright guys, I've been editing for about three hours now. Just today's video, what I filmed this morning talking about everything and what I've been up to for the past week. Because I know it's going to be kind of an intricate edit and I want to be able to do stuff tomorrow. So I decided to start editing it now. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. I've never really talked about this before, but I film on... Er, film. I edit on a MacBook Air. And it's not really built for editing very well. It doesn't handle it, so it lags a ton, it crashes a ton. So that's kind of why I'm doing it now. So I'm not going to be up super late tonight or having to spend all my morning tomorrow doing it so I can do more tomorrow. But I'm starting to get dizzy when I stare at computer screens too long it starts to get to me. I need to get the heck outdoors. I'm going to go catch sunset somewhere. Totally up to you. I was kind of curious if you wanted to uh, go catch sunset with me. Okay. guys wasn't much of a sunset but it was still just awesome to be up there i'm gonna end this video right here guys but i will see you bright and early tomorrow morning as we take on a new day thank you guys so much for watching as always see you tomorrow